Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 4th through to the 10th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Scorps. But first, I want to wish any of you having birthdays this week a very happy birthday. So let's get on with your reading. First up, we have the Knight of Wands in the upright position, followed then by Major Arcana, the Hierophant. And next we have the Ten of Pentacles upright, followed then by the King of Swords in the upright. And lastly, we have the Six of Pentacles upright. All right, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you. First of all, Scorpio, for your overall energy, you have the Knight of Wands in the upright position. Um, the Knight of Wands is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, that of Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, the Knight of Wands swoops in. This is Quicksilver. He swoops in um, a very... Uh, he comes out of nowhere, kind of like the Knight of Swords, but this guy here is quite the character. I like him. I call him Pajama Man. He uh, swoops in with an offer. He could be offering you anything from taking you on an adventure to uh, a passionate uh, weekend or a passionate um, even trip because he does govern travel. So uh, he could want to take you on a trip. He could be coming in um offering to take you out maybe this is someone if you're dating someone um long distance this could be somebody coming in very quickly to uh, come and see you it makes you an offer uh, the knight of wands can also be offering you something in terms of uh, if you have something up for sale say your home your vehicle or something maybe he's coming in to put in an offer but he doesn't stick around very long that's the thing about the knight of wands he comes in and he swoops right out doesn't give you a lot of time to think about it so the knight of wands very passionate um offer coming towards scorpio this week uh, could take you some of you by surprise um coming right off the hop we do see the um the taurus card here the hierophant in the upright position this is all about making a commitment some of you could be signing serious contracts this week uh if you're dealing with the government or schools or anything official like that it could be representing taking uh or being offered a, a term position say um with the government or an official job could be signing a contract on just about anything. It can, uh, the Hierophant can also point to making a commitment, say to a spiritual group or a religious congregation. Perhaps some of you are doing that. Others of you could be making a commitment to um, marriage, uh, definitely. Some of you could be getting married this week. Um, also to, it could be just representing the, uh, official, like signing official forms or anything like that could be sort of sticking with the tried and true. That's what the, the Hierophant is. It's all about convention and sticking with, uh, the tried and true. So, but it does look interesting here because there is an offer coming in and then there's a, a signing of a contract. So some of you could be definitely getting a, an offer uh, on a business or something like that, or maybe even to go into business with someone. Interesting. And it's paired up here with the Ten of Pentacles in the upright position. Beautiful energy. Ten of Pentacles can represent um, extra finances coming in via an inheritance or extra money coming in that you didn't expect. So it could be a nice lump, lump sum. It can also point to a raise in pay for yourself, for your spouse, or even maybe someone in the family, a grown child that lives with you. Maybe they get a job and they're able to contribute to the to the home it also points to strong stability so say if you are making a commitment to a new job or something like that there could be a lot of money involved in it and it's probably a, a very stable long-lasting uh, career choice or um, employment for you and moving on towards the weekend we do see the king of swords here in the upright position this is a court card this time we're dealing with air energy that of gemini libra aquarius sun moon rising male or female now the king of swords comes in to sort of lay things on the line he's interested in the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth could be clear clarifying conversation that you're having with someone could be about something official we do see the official card here this can also the king of swords can also point to a lawyer um a judge um, um 
a police officer or somebody like that in the uh, dealing with the law or legal matters. So it does look like for any of you dealing with the legal situation, uh, this could be um, maybe a contract. This could be the lawyer that's overseeing the contract for you. And others of you, this could just be <clears throat> a clarifying conversation that you have with somebody that just sort of leaves emotion out of it and just deals with the cerebral, the mental, the logical part of it and just sort of Scorpios really like to have clarity before, especially before making any formal decisions, whether it be on the romantic front or on the uh, financial work front, what have, what have you, whatever the situation is, Scorpios need full mental clarity on the matter before they feel comfortable signing on the dotted line. And the last card you have up is the Six of Pentacles here in the upright position. Any fairness and balance that went out of a relationship at one point looks like it returns back to it. Uh, the Six of Pentacles can also point to generosity. Um, any of you say that if you need to get a mortgage or a loan for a vehicle or anything like that, it could be that there's a yes answer uh, from the bank. Good news. Uh, this could be um, even the generosity can go either way. Maybe you are being extremely generous towards somebody else. You're helping them out because you're in such a good financial position or it could just be like I said representing fairness and balance if this is a legal situation there could be uh, definitely you'll be happy with the results here so that is your reading Scorpio looks like a pretty terrific maybe intense week but um, Scorpios are <laughs> intensity is our middle name right <laughs> in closing I am going to pull a chocolate wisdom oracle card for you for further uh, inspiration discovery hmm. a discovery a voyage of discovery interesting discovery hmm. I wonder what we're going to discover this week <laughs> so I'm going to pull a second card um, for you Scorpio from the Colette Baron Reed uh, my new deck and we'll see what the second card is all about I need uh, extra light here for this one it's very hard to read the lighting is or the re uh, the writing is very fine on here peace is your card peace out Scorpio <laughs> well that's a great card peace <laughs> Okay, that is your reading. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.